Hi everyone, this is Alex Pistana here with Trimec, and uh, today is another episode in our Know Your Materials series. In our previous episode, we talked about uh, PolyJet's Rigid Material Vero, and if you're interested about that, uh, we'll put a link to that down below for you to watch. Um, in today's video, we're going to be talking about the flexible resin that's available with PolyJet machines, and that's called Agilis. So let's get into it. So Agilis in its base form has a shore value of A30. Now what that means is it basically has the softness of a average pencil eraser. But what we can do using PolyJet technology is we can add uh, Vero, the rigid material, into Agilis to create uh, multiple levels of, of shore A. So you have your you know base resin, soft as like a, a pencil eraser, and you can move all the way up adding more color, and in this case more Vero resin, uh, to make your part much more rigid. So it allows, to, it allows to not have to have, you know, seven different resins to hit seven different Shore durometers. All you'll need is um, an Agilis 30 and, and Shore 30 and any uh, Vero resin that you want, and you can blend those together to create multiple Shore durometers. So now with more recent advancements in PolyJet technology, we're able to dispense between five and seven different resins at the same time. So for this example right here, this is a sort of a texture sample part here. We're able to dispense uh, a full color resin on a flexible uh, material. So that allows us to mimic not only color uh, as well as texture on this flexible uh, material. So we have you know denim materials, a wood grain, a leather, um, to help show off uh, you know, what's capable now that we can dispense all these different types of resin. Uh, there is an important thing to note. Uh, currently, because Agilis is only available in black, white, and clear, uh, once we add color in the form of Vero, uh, we're going to add more rigidity. So there's not a, a, a whole sense of control, and, I, and that, this can be explained in something like this. So here we have um, Agilis white, uh, being mixed with a variety of colors and as you can see uh, you know here on the softer end we're at a shore a35 but as we add color all the way up uh, we get all the way up to a shore a90 so as we add more color the parts will be more rigid so agilis is a, is a really good material to choose um, if you're looking for anything uh, with any sort of flexibility or soft touch so again kind of going back to this uh, over mold here you know simulating any kind of over mold where that uh you know that soft touch uh or rubber like feel is necessary agilis is a great choice there or even if you're looking to mimic some types of uh, leathers for like a shoe model or something like that uh, being able to uh you know print that color over these flexible areas allows uh, for the best of both worlds, right? You get the flexibility as well as the color representation. Um, so that's really where Agilis uh, shines. With that being said, though Agilis can mimic these flexible properties, it's not going to be a direct replacement for like a silicone or something like that. Um, and that's because after, you know, the, it doesn't hold up the same to repeated use like a normal plastic would. But the plus side there being is that you can create these models uh, with the soft touch and flexibility uh, much faster and much easier than with the uh, traditional manufacturing methods. So another new use of Agilis that's been shown is um, in the new digital anatomy printer. So this printer is able to, with the addition of some digital anatomy specific materials, uh, mimic tissue and bone. So for example here, I have this hand model. Uh, this was a mixture of Agilis as well as a, a digital anatomy specific material called tissue matrix. And it is to mimic the, the feel of, of real tissue. So you can see we have, you know, bones, you know, inside of this, uh, you know, arm here. And we can, you know, bend the fingers and, and uh, you know, it, it sort of feels like a real uh, piece of tissue. Now this is mainly designed for surgical uh, models as well as de medical device testing, uh, but being able to have that flexible and that uh, ability to change durometers really allows for that for this type of mechanical feedback. So that's your quick rundown on Agilis. 
know, if you have any uh, questions or you want to know more about Agilus, feel free to put a comment down below. And uh, follow us here at Trimec to see uh, all videos, blogs, and webinars about all the products and services that we offer here. Thanks for watching.